There exist several ways in which strength is measured in the animal kingdom. Every animal has to fend for itself and survive the harsh consequences of being prey or live out the best days of being a predator. But the power of a predator can vary from size to size when we consider a factor called the bite force of animals. Bite force simply is pound force per square inch, as it's the pressure from a one pound force applied to an area of one square inch. In other words, it's the pressure that the animal exerts on its food or unlucky prey. And today, we've put together a list of those predators so we can compare just how powerful they are. From the kings of the ocean to nature's teddy bears, here are 20 animals with the strongest bite. Number 20. Great White Shark Almost everyone knows the great white shark as the king of the ocean and is one of the most feared sea creatures. The great white is also notorious for being one of the largest predatory sharks, which applies to sharks in general and includes more than 500 species. And while whale sharks might be one of the largest shark species, they are surprisingly not dangerous, even if you encounter them in the water. However, merely looking at a great white would breed the conclusion that it is very deadly. But have you ever wondered how strong the bite force of a great white shark is? Well, well, great whites are capable of producing a bite force of up to 4,000 psi. Their bite strength will depend on the size of the shark, as larger sharks tend to make much more force. Great whites do vary in size, with the largest reaching up to 20 feet long. On average, female great whites grow between 15 to 16 feet long, while males only grow to around 11 to 13 feet. But generally, they weigh between 1,200 to 2,400 pounds. The 4,000 psi measurement from a great white was estimated by Australian scientists who made use of a 3D computer modeling. Just by looking at a great white skull and muscle design, and using X-ray imaging, they could accurately get the force at which a great white could bite. They utilized a model of a huge 21-foot white shark, which is massive in comparison to other great whites the ocean has to offer, to test the 4,000 psi. And while modern sharks may have the strongest biting forces on the planet, extinct sharks like the megalodon may have had bite forces up to 10 times greater. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Saltwater Crocodile the crocodile may be the world's champion chomper, killing with the greatest bite force ever in naturally designed or killing animals. In fact, studies claim that their bite force may just about rival that of a mighty T-Rex. All 23 crocodile species were put through a bite test by paleobiologist Gregory M. Erickson and colleagues. The winners, being saltwater crocodiles, had slammed their jaws shut with 3,700 pounds per square inch of bite force. Comparing this with an average human jaw, you might tear into a steak with 150 to 200 psi. Other animals like hyenas, lions, and tigers, however, should generate around 1,000 psi. And as previously mentioned, a 2008 computer model estimated that a 21-foot great white shark would produce nearly 4,000 psi of bite force. But that figure hasn't been directly measured. But Erickson and his colleagues did physically measure the bites of several 17-foot saltwater crocs, as well as Nile crocodiles, alligators, caimans, gharials, and other crocs, some for the first time ever. It would also appear that surprisingly, variations in the bite forces of croc species turn out to be largely based on body size. In many animal groups, this variation depends on different jaw shapes and tooth forms, but those features didn't much affect the croc chomps in the team's tests. This goes to show that crocs were big biters from the dawn of their evolutionary line. Number 18. American Alligator According to a report published by several research agencies, the alligator bite is ranked as the sixth strongest in the entire world, even more powerful than that of a lion even. And throughout the years, there have been several reports where people have been victims of alligator bites, and it is without a doubt that many of us have heard such stories on the news as well. Despite being sixth, the bite of a gator can actually cause serious harm. To make it easier, let's compare. When people eat steak, they tend to generate a per square inch of force around 150 to 200. Now multiply that by 15. Even an average-sized adult Florida gator can crush the bones of any human or animal with ease if it gets a hold of it. And it might interest you to know that the muscles involved in an alligator's jaw while closing it are stronger than the muscles involved in opening the jaw, which is why it is easier to hold an alligator's mouth shut without much difficulty, and we've definitely seen instances like that. Number 17. Jaguar 
Of all the big cats we know and have seen, the jaguar has the strongest jaw muscles. Their bite force is around 1,500 pounds per square inch, which is twice the measurement of a tiger's. They are known to open their jaws wider than any other big cat species, and this ability allows them to grip the large skull of prey in their jaws and crush it with ease using their teeth. The gift of having the strongest jaw made me realize why these felines kill their prey in a unique way, unlike other big cats that would bite their prey at the throat and kill it through suffocation or bite through the neck and crush the spine. These fatal bites delivered by the jaguar most times reach the brains when the skull gets completely crushed. In other cases, we found out that their bite is so powerful they can actually bite through the thick skin of crocodiles and the hard shells of armored prey. Number 16. Hippopotamus Although it's one of the most adored creatures in Africa, the hippopotamus can be deadly and violent. Human harm is more likely when people coexist in close proximity to their natural habitat, although the severity and cost of hippopotamus attacks have long been known to result in significant injuries, these factors are still unclear. There is virtually little information in the medical literature about hippopotamus bite wounds and their prognosis. Hippos are capable of producing around 1800 psi with their bite. To get a clearer picture, studies claim that they have a strong enough bite to snap a crocodile in half if needed, and in comparison to other land animals, hippos might might just have the strongest bite of them all. The largest male hippo ever recorded lived in captivity in Germany and reportedly weighed 9,900 pounds kilograms. This gigantic hippo also reached 16 feet long. Also, it is common knowledge that the larger the animal, the stronger its bite force, so you can imagine just how powerful this hippo's bite could have been. Pygmy hippos are the much smaller versions that produce a less powerful bite. However, no studies have been able to study the pygmy hippo's bite as of yet, but let's just assume that they are very similar to the common hippo. They do have a similar skeleton skeleton, body shape, and skull, and they should be around one quarter smaller than the common hippo. So basically, the pygmy hippos are comparable to common hippos, as their bite is strong but scales to a smaller size. Number 15. Gorilla Gorillas are mainly plant eaters, the only non-carnivore on this list, yet they have such an incredibly strong bite force. They use their powerful jaws to chew and tear through bark and roots, and their large teeth are also used to display force and aggression. However, it might come as a surprise that these primates can produce around 1300 psi with their bite. They are even classified as animals, with one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom. Luckily for us, they are gentle giants and will only attack when they feel intimidated or threatened. Each subspecies will also be able to produce a similar amount of force, but the western lowland gorilla is the strongest of them all. Eastern lowland gorillas, however, are the biggest of all species. Number 14. Grizzly Bear Grizzly bears are massive, with some weighing as much as 1,700 pounds and standing up to 10 feet tall. They eat pretty much anything, from berries and nuts, to fish and even the occasional moose. When a grizzly bear opens its mouth wide, the opening measures about 12 inches, which should be around 30 centimeters. However, the grizzly bears, despite being nature's fluffy, cuddly teddy bears, have a strong bite of about 975 to 1160 psi, which is recorded among some of the strangest animals in the world. On the other hand, the polar bear and the other brown bear species have the strongest bite force of all bears. These animals are extremely large and are also some of the strongest bear species. And it's pretty much obvious that larger bears have a stronger bite force and are much stronger. The polar bear, for example, has a bite force that can reach up to 1200 psi. Though a grizzly will only attack a human if he or she gets in the way of its offspring or sources of food. Grizzly attacks are pretty rare. This means good news for us, given the fact that the force of a grizzly bear's bite is more than enough to do considerable damage to a bowling ball, let alone human. Number 13. Hyena even though hyenas appear to be substantially smaller than many other predatory mammals, their jaws are more powerful than those of some giant cats we're familiar with. Hyenas can give a powerful bite that is enough to kill their prey and even crush their bones, sometimes the entire skeleton, depending on the animal. The spotted hyena, for instance, has a bite force of 1100 psi, which is way stronger than most animals and all other hyena species. But while the spotted hyena is the largest type, it is only around 3-4 to four feet long and weighs between 89 
to 140 pounds. Polar bears are extremely large, growing up to 7 feet, and can weigh over 1,000 pounds, yet they have a bite force around 1,200 psi. On the other hand, the brown hyena is the second largest hyena species, reaching 2.3 to 2.6 feet. Striped hyenas are around the same size as the brown species as well. The ard wolf is the smallest of hyenas, only reaching around 21 to 31 inches. They are smaller than most dogs and only weigh up to 17 pounds. But the striped hyena also has a powerful bite of around 800 psi, which means that the ard wolf, being the smallest of the species, has the weakest bite force. Lions are one of the animals the hyenas have to compete with, and surprisingly hyenas have a stronger bite force than they do, which is why most times we see hyenas stealing a bite and running off almost immediately. Given the advantage of a bite force, they can easily tear through the tough skins of animals and make away with at least a mouthful every time they steal from the big cats. Number 12. Bengal Tiger Let's talk about the many tiger bite presentation methods, problems, and management research, which included all patients who reported to the emergency room with a history of tiger bites. From 2003 to 2006, the Department of Surgery at Kulna Medical College Hospital in Bangladesh accepted a total of six patients. The top region of the body was the area of the body that was most severely injured. All of the patients required immediate surgery, including debridement of the wounds and even reconstructive surgery. The infectious problem led to the death of one patient. In Bangladesh's broader Sundarban region, tiger bites constitute a significant public health issue. Effective management and prompt hospitalization can help save priceless human lives. Now, this brings up the question just how powerful is a tiger's bite? But before we find into that, the Bengal tiger is a population of the Panthera tigris, tigris subspecies that ranks among the biggest wild cats alive today. These big wild cats are known to often immobilize prey like deer by landing a swift bite on the throat. They possess razor-sharp canines that measure up to about 4 inches in length and gifted a strong bite force of 1050 psi. Once trapped in a tiger's powerful jaws, it's almost impossible for smaller animals to escape. Number 11. Lion Lions happen to be the largest of Africa's big cats. As one of the most iconic denizens of the African plains, lions have an aura around them of regality and fame. However, you might be disappointed as they cannot be the top dog in every aspect. I'm talking about when we consider their bite force. However, the bite force of a lion depends solely on its age and size. And despite their size, the lion is only able to produce a bite force of around 650 psi. And even though they're known to be extremely strong, lions only produce 100 more psi than the dog with the largest bite force, which we know as the mastiff. But as the lion grows and gets larger, it tends to create a stronger force of somewhere between a approximately 650 to 1,000 pounds per square inch. But putting genetics aside, the bite force of an adult look could also be determined by what the lion ate and what injuries they might have sustained during their lifetime, specifically to the face from fighting or by prey defending itself. So if there's a trauma to a tooth or the mouth, it's less likely to expect the animal to bite at its full potential, which would, in turn, cause a decline in the bite force. When compared to a list of predators, lions are relatively low down on the list of bite forces. Due to selective pressures, including diet and defense, these animals really needed to develop stronger bite forces. Number 10. English Mastiff there is a dog breed ideal for each home since dogs come in a variety of sizes and forms. They may be kind and huge or little and aggressive though. But all dog breeds have the potential to bite, and certain of them are more prone to do so and may deliver a particularly nasty dog bite. Mastiffs make wonderful family pets, but they may become rather big. They are enthusiastic and appropriate for children. They can be educated to be cautious, which is one thing to keep in mind in this situation. Being alert is not the same as being furious or aggressive. The Mastiff has a bite force about 556 psi, so it's crucial not to provoke the dog or have it around strangers until it is fully trained. With a bite force like that, this breed can easily overpower other animals. This is actually more than three times the bite force of an average dog. If you're wondering how this dog ended up with such a powerful bite force, it might interest you to know that the Mastiffs were originally bred for fighting and protecting livestock and property, and it's theorized that they're descended from the ferocious Molossus, which is recognized as a legendary war dog from Greece's classical era. Number 9. Polar Bear 
Polar bears are known to be the largest modern land predator and are so large because of their habitat. Their size had actually played a huge role in helping them stay warm and not die below freezing temperatures. And for added knowledge, polar bears, like other mammals, follow Bergman's rules. What does this rule tell us? It simply states that the colder the temperature, the larger the mammal. This rule is also valid for a lot of birds and mammal species, but it seems not to be the case for some. Colder areas have the largest polar bears, and with this size comes a great bite force. Some polar bears have a very powerful bite force of 1200 psi, making them the strongest of all bear species. Their large size, as earlier mentioned, contributes greatly to how strong they can bite and what makes them the deadliest bears in the world. The largest polar bear ever recorded was said to weigh more than 2,000 pounds and had a height of around 11 feet. On average, the males weigh somewhere between 700 to 1,500 pounds, while females are much smaller, only weighing between 330 to 650 pounds. And generally, the average size of polar bears is around 5.9 to 10 feet tall, towering over other bear species. Their powerful bite force and 42 sharp teeth have earned them a spot as excellent hunters. And compared with other bears like the brown bear or black bear, Bear, polar bears are the most carnivorous species. Number 8. Alligator Snapping Turtle there are myths that claim that the alligator snapping turtles are known to attack people, but this is so not true. However, given that they have a bite force of 1,000 pounds, their powerful jaws can actually snap through bone, so it's a fair warning that they should never be handled in the wild. This force is as a result of the snapping turtle's sharp beak, which creates a very high pressure, far more than a human can even produce. It is very near to the Royal Bengal Tiger's bite pressure, which is around 1,050 psi. Now, you need no soothsayer to tell you that it's literally a death sentence to put your finger in its mouth. It can very easily snap off your finger from your hand immediately after its mouth shuts. Number 7. Grey Wolf Generally, wolves are known to have a very strong bite force of around 400 psi, which is stronger than most dog species would know. Some even believe that a wolf can bite with up to 1000 psi, but testing animals for bite force has proven to be difficult in most cases due to underlying factors. For instance, a wolf's bite may differ because of its size and considering if the wolf was biting at its hardest. Wolves have a very strong bite force due to their extremely sharp teeth. This has helped them to be able to hunt their prey and rip into the animals they kill, maybe even strong enough to actually crush bones. Results have shown that wolves, in general, have a bite force of approximately 405 psi. PSI, which is much stronger than both coyotes and dogs. Now, this is only one recording. Other recordings have previously shown bites even more powerful, upwards of 600. It's important to note that these recordings were made while the wolf wasn't stressed or threatened. However, they tend to reach up to somewhere between 1000 and 1500, but only when they're threatened, as adrenaline pumps through their body. Number 6. Bull Shark these apex predators, known as bull sharks, are said to bite with the greatest force among sharks, pound for pound, greater than that of even the great whites or hammerheads. This force is determined by the width of the jaws, and bull sharks, as we all know, have very wide heads. They exert so much force when biting that they can even snap turtles in half. In a study in the current zoology journal led by USF's Maria Hadbegger, Moda and his colleagues took measurements of bite forces from 13 shark species. In a direct comparison, they report that a 9 foot long bull shark exerted a bite force of 478 pounds, while an 8 foot long great white had a bite of 360 pounds of force. The study only raises curiosity on why bull sharks actually require such a powerful bite. Well, basically, it could be an advantage for young bull sharks, allowing them to eat more diverse prey at their early stages. Smaller bull sharks surprisingly bite harder than expected for their size, but larger individuals do not. This time reverse is the case. In bull sharks, size does not determine the strength of a bite. Anyway, it is believed that such a strong bite is particularly useful for hunting in murky waters that bull sharks stay in. In a case like an environment with low visibility, catching prey may be more difficult than in the open water. So, once you get prey trapped between jaws, securing it is the next priority, so a mill is not lost. Number 5. Tyrannosaurus Rex 
Let's talk about dinosaurs. They once walked the earth, so I believe they should be given a chance in the spotlight where they have belonged if it wasn't for, you know, this stupid asteroid. But if you've seen the movie called Jurassic Park, you might have an insight as to what a T-Rex jaw can do. Moving on, in a new study published in Scientific Reports, two researchers, the names Paul Gignac and Gregory Erickson, found that Tyrannosaurus would have packed an extreme bite using approximately up to 8,000 pounds of force to chow down on its meals. Erickson and Gignac reportedly created a computer model to estimate the forces inside the T-Rex's jaw based on high-resolution CT scans of fossilized skulls. They then added muscles to the scans based on the dinosaur's closest living relatives which we know as an amalgamation of the musculature of modern alligators, crocodiles, and birds. The researchers found that the tip of the dinosaur's teeth could actually exert pressures of as much as 431,000 pounds per square inch. Unlike modern reptiles, T-Rex could chew up enormous bones to get the precious marrow within. That's thanks to the right combination of biting power plus its blunt teeth that were serrated somehow like steak knives. And with this, it could basically slice through just about anything that existed in its timeline. And it did by devouring everything from duck-billed dinosaurs to triceratops. Number 4. Megalodon the Megalodon shark, also known as the Carcharodon Megalodon, was a monster that may have grown up to 16 meters in length and had a maximum weight of anywhere from 50 to 100 tons. And according to research, it had the most powerful bite of any animal, with a jaw estimated to measure about 9 by 11 feet. Scientists have calculated that Megalodon's bite force would be about 40,000 pounds per square inch, which is by far the highest bite force ever calculated by any animal, whether living or extinct. Now, compare that to Tyrannosaurus rex, which had a bite force of 8,000 pounds per square inch, and it's clear you've got a very mighty bite on your hands. Number 3. Nile Crocodile one of the larger crocodile species, the Nile crocodile, is a native of freshwater ecosystems in Africa. A Nile crocodile by nature is regarded as an apex predator and the cause of the demise of several other species, both large and small. African crocodiles are a fascinating species whether you are interested in them because you watched a documentary about crocodiles eating wildebeest in the wild or because you are planning a vacation to a region where there are crocodiles. Crocodilus nilotysis is the scientific name for a Nile crocodile. And the Nilotysis portion of the name means from the Nile River. The Greeks might have called the crocodile before since its old home reached as far as Egypt. Nile crocodiles inhabit a variety of freshwater environments in addition to the Nile River. The common crocodile, black crocodile, and African crocodile are all other names for the Nile crocodile. The Nile crocodile's biting force, which may exceed 5,000 pounds per square inch, is among the greatest on the African continent. A crocodile can bite with 5,000 psi, which is nearly eight times times as powerful as a lion and nearly 30 times as powerful as a hippopotamus. This is also about 70 times more than an adult human can bite. In other words, no creature wants to get between a Nile crocodile's strong jaws. Number 2. Orca a whale with teeth and a distinctive black and white body is called an orca. They also go by the name killer whales due to their predatory nature. However, orcas may be called whales, but they actually belong to the oceanic dolphin family. Being the largest known members of the dolphin family, they can grow as long as 16 to 26 feet. As for the bite force of an orca, unfortunately, there haven't been any accurate measurements, but some orcas in captivity have exhibited behaviors that could estimate that their bite force should be well over 19,000 psi though, which is a massive figure. The other species in the animal kingdom that has scientifically recorded the highest bite force is the saltwater crocodile. And even though it is not accurate, there is no definite proof. Orcas might very well be the creatures with the strongest bite force on Earth. Number 1. Black Piranha in 2010, there was a terrible B-movie called Mega Piranha, which was about genetically modified piranha fish that wreak havoc upon Floridian tourists. And in that movie, there is a part where one of these piranhas leap out of the water and takes a bite out of a helicopter. It's considered silly, but there's actually a knowledge or two to pick up from this movie. If you look at Wikipedia's entry for the film, you'll see these words at the top. For the prehistoric creature, see Mega Piranha. So yeah, this fish existed, and during its existence at around 71 meters long, it was not possible for it to attack a helicopter. 
but they were three times bigger than the size of their modern carnivorous cousins. But if we discuss the bite force of these fish, which is basically what this topic is about, Mega Piranha and its modern relatives have some of the strongest bites of any fish, despite their size. Pound for pound, they can actually chomp down with more force than bigger icons like the Megalodon. Their teeth are shaped somewhat like the serrated triangular gnashers of modern meat eaters, but they also have thick white bases. These were their multi-purpose tools that could crush hard food as well as slice soft flesh. Flesh. The piranhas bite with forces that range from 67 to 320 newtons, which should be around 15 to 72 psi, substantial for a such a relatively small mouth. However, the 2010 study found that a 2-pound black piranha generated a bite force of 70 pounds per square inch, or 35 times its body weight. When compared to body size, this is the strongest bite ever recorded for a fish, and three times stronger than for an alligator of the same size. And that's it for 20 animals with the strongest bite. I hope you learned something that you probably didn't know while watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.